How's it going, everyone? Baby Dragon 48 here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like the content that I am bringing to you guys. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So today I got for you guys something a little different. I want to share with you guys um, some of the deck cores of the decks that I have played um, in this game. I always like to hold on to deck cores just in case if I do decide to pick up the deck in the near future, I have most of the cards uh, available to me that is, are necessary to be playing that deck. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so most of you guys recognize this one. It's a wind-ups. Wind-ups were one of my all-time favorite decks that I've played. I remember pulling this beautiful wind-up rabbit from a sneak peek at a photon shockwave. Very, very exciting time. Uh, they're also very adorable to look at. So we got all your bases, wind-up magician, Zen Mighty, who needs to come back for this deck to become relevant again, but I know Konami doesn't like hand loops. Uh, we got Sylvan's, uh, Sylvan being one of the, I feel like one of the original decks to start using the excavating theme. Um, they're also very cute as well. Next up we have Bujins. Unfortunately, I was never able to pick up the Ultimate Bujin in models, but I digress. Yes, uh, I usually tend to pick up max rarity of the decks that I'm playing just because I'm that kind of person, but it all depends what budget I'm on at that time. Then we have Light Swarms. At one point in time, I did have a play set of Ultimate Judgment Dragons. Um, a couple years ago, I got rid of them for $30 each, which I regret now since they have skyrocketed in price. Uh, Gokis. Gokis were actually one of my least favorite decks that I picked up. I dropped it very, very fast. Uh, Cosmos. Then we have a uh, small core of Chaos Dragons. Harpies. I'm very glad that I do have my ultimate uh, set of first edition Harpy Chandler. And I'm also very excited for the new Lost Art promotion cards coming out for the Harpies. Up next we have Musketeers. Um, this is also one of the decks I ended up picking up and I really didn't like the playstyle of it. Um, so I, I don't, the only card I managed to get rid of was the uh, one cast bar, um, which is fine because it got reprinted anyways. And then Heroes. Um, I got these made for me a couple years ago of uh, Captain America, Batman, and Spider-Man, so really cool. I have my ultimates and my secret aliases. Uh, D-Draw. These, these are just uh, extras that I have since I already have the deck built right now. So whenever I do decide to, you know, change it up a bit, I can just go ahead and um, grab them from here of whatever card I do decide to um, add into the deck. A lot of my maliciouses. I have Ultras, Original Ultras, uh, Secrets. So as you can see, I have a lot of hero cards because this uh, is one of my favorite decks as well. More maliciouses. Uh, DT Stratos, which I feel is the most, second most beautiful when it comes uh, aside from the ultimate. Ultimate Dasher, uh, Ultimate Bubble Man, Secret Bubble Man. Planets. And then just some random tokens. So that's the first binder and then I have this second binder over here so we have the place of ultimate gravekeeper commandants five recruiters place of ultimate necro valleys I have to say uh, behind heroes and mermals uh, black wings are my third all-time favorite deck I remember picking up the, I think the first hollow printing of it were the German Super Kaluts and then the Ultras, Asuras, Lizards. These are the DT Boras, Ultra Boras, Gales, my Sirakus, Secret Vion, uh, Vayus, uh, Ultimate and Ultra Vayu. My Samoons. 
that's my uh, turtle pack uh, Ciroc of the Dawn that I ended up trading up uh, my Diva to get. Uh, Super Whirlwinds, Icarus Attacks. Uh, Dota Core Anti Reverse, which is uh, one of my favorite blocking cards. Very, very good card to use, but most people don't use them. Ultimate Rikery, my Armor Masters. Then Samurai's number one Kazan came out back in the day. Very, very expensive. It's also very beautiful, super rare. I remember at that time, I had actually saved up all my lunch money to be able to buy it. I was one Ultimate Xi'an and a Secret Barkyan, which I think was around for both total like $100 at that time. Um, so yeah, that was before I had a job and was still in school. Samurai United. These are not the original from the Turbo Packs. And then these are the old TCNs I was talking about. Then we have my Dark World, the place of Ultimate Brows, Ultimate Silvers. And then Mermos, one of my proudest achievements to have. Uh, these are all just extras uh, that I have. Since I do currently have the deck build, uh, super pikes, uh, super guns, uh, extra ulti marksmans. So. Aqua Spirit is one of the cards. I don't like playing it because it's a common. I know it's a really good card, but it just clashes with the deck so hard. So I really hope that gets a future hollow reprint. Um, my DT Undines. Oh, these are so gorgeous. Look at that shine that they have. And the DT controllers to match with them. My spheres. And then I, this is an extra place that I have of uh, Minimal Abyss Megalos, but these are unlimited. I have my first editions in my deck. I'm a couple of Marinsis cards. I have the rest of the core in a different binder. Some more Grave Keeper stuff. Uh, Thunder Dragons, I have the Prismatics and Original Ultras as well on here. A couple of extra danger stuff. I have uh, the main stuff in my other binders as well. And then to round things off, the Trick Stars. Alright guys, so I hope you did enjoy the video. Um, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe if you do like uh, these kinds of videos. Um, I'm looking to go ahead and show you guys the rest of my collection in the future. Little by little, I have over 18 binders full of cards. Um, and I actually think it'd be something cool and interesting and different from the usual to go ahead and show you guys. Uh, I know I'm very proud of my collection. You know, I do spend um, a lot of time uh, buying, selling, and trading just to be able to have these cards. Um, so yeah, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you uh, remember playing any of these decks or any of these decks are your favorite decks. Um, and like the video, subscribe, Baby Dragon 48 out.